Hey, how's it going? This is Chronicle Absolute. My name is Dion. I got a question for you. So you've got an appointment for a particular customer and you can definitely get it there. And maybe you're on time and the time that you calculate it after you actually do the load slash unload. Maybe you had plenty of time to actually do that and then leave and then find parking. But then once you get there, you find out, hey, this is, this is going to take longer than what what was planned for you know normally it takes about two hours to either do the load or the unload but every once in a while you might have a customer where something's wrong or maybe they have the line or just just something and it might take longer you know um but in most cases about two hours so you plan for the two hours you get there and, and you find out hey this is going to take too long i'm going to run out of time or maybe you know for a fact that hey i can get it there but and i might be able to actually do the load or the unload but then once i do that i might not have enough time to go find parking after the fact what do you do well at that point i'm not going to call schneider and say hey i need help can you help me figure this out i'm not doing that i'm going to work directly with that customer and say hey i'm starting to run out of time here what's my options you know um in this case i'm at a customer and i'm i'm, I'm running out of time you know and so i went in and said hey you know what small options what can we do and i asked hey can i potentially drop my trailer here you guys do the unload and then i come back in the morning sc scoop up my um, empty trailer and then leave can we do that and he said yeah you you could do that you know that works but um if you want to you know you could park on this this uh, side street it's a side street that's that's not being used at all and apparently truckers park there all the time so I, I don't mind doing it I've got food so why not do that I can stay here do the unload park on a side street that nobody uses and I'm good to go you know <laughs> I, I'll, I'll just do my 10 and then leave out in the morning you know normally you're not gonna park on the street I, 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 let's let's make that very clear normally you don't park on the street but apparently it's a side street that nobody uses and you know no one's on it, so I can do that, you know. That'll be fine. So, there's um, three options. Let's just make it very plain. Three options. First option is, quite frankly, you just leave and then come back in the morning. Whether it be that you leave with your load or you leave with an empty trailer because you were supposed to be getting loaded up. Either way, you leave and then come back when you have more hours. That's the first option. Second option is, you drop your trailer and then come back in the morning once it's been loaded or unloaded and it it, it 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 just depends on that customer and what they can do you know and in that case it might be a um, situation where they say hey drop it in front of this tank so that we can do the load or unload and then come back here and then pick it back up or drop it in this lot over here and then they'll have one of the yard spotters to go scoop up your trailer put it into position, get it loaded slash unload it, and then put it back in that spot over there, you know, and then you come back and then pick it up over there. You're good to go. Other option is you can park there at the customer. Um, if you're going to a, a big chemical plant, you probably won't have that option. You know, it might just be a situation where you, you just have to come back, you know. But if a smaller mom and a pop locations, they may have parking for you there's a possibility so you can either call up and say hey if you know for a fact that you're that 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 you'll be running out of time say hey i'm running out of time what can we do and they may say hey you can park here for the night that's okay or they may say hey you know what just because they're just that small we, we we just can't do it you'll just have to come back in the morning but but at that point you can work with that customers and 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 figure out when they want you back you know um, and then at that point you just let Schneider know and then you just go from there. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be parking here at the customer. I'm at the customer. I want to stress that I'm at the customer in front of their building. Okay. It's just some side street. I haven't really figured it out yet, but once I'm done here, I, I can ask the guard right over here and go from there. But, um, so there's a main street. But then there's a side street, and I'll be parking on that side street that apparently nobody uses. So I'm stressing that, okay? I'm not on an actual, like, street street. It's a side street that 
side street that nobody uses. So um, that's what I'll be doing. So call up, ask them if you can, or once you get here, ask them and just go from there. So one last time, all right, <laughs> you can either park there at the customer, you can drop your trailer and then come back or you just have to flat out just leave and then come back and then go from there anyway hope this helps so uh, until next time you guys be good be safe and all that you do bye